what it do youtube we are back again with another reaction video shout out to everybody been showing on the love and showing on the support we're back on that nf grind he just came out with this happy and i've already been seeing people react to it so you already know i gotta get on it okay um if y'all new to the channel make sure you like subscribe and join the family this is not my first nf reaction i have other uh songs i reacted to it from this is probably like the third one so i'm still kind of fresh to nf and kind of who he is and what he's about most of the time i've been reading the comments in my last couple of videos but we're gonna get right into it if you're new to the channel make sure you like subscribe and join the family roll the 30k let's get it dear god please hear me out i know it's been a couple years since i reached out and said hello i bet you're wondering why i keep obsessing on and stressing all the little things when i should be living life and soaking up the memory i know i've been selfish i have no excuse to give you it's true hanging by a thread how i live i don't know why but i feel more comfortable living in my agony watching myself esteem go up in flames acting like i don't okay first impression so far very meaningful song i am trying to keep up with the uh, what he's saying and listening to what he's saying but also visualizing like i mean not visualizing, but watching the music video that's one thing i don't know if youtuber reactors would ever talk about enough is being able to comprehend both like knowing what the artist is trying to put through on the you know especially artists like nf um ren and artists like that the couple ones i've been reacting to lately where they have so many messages or so many small things in videos and i listen when i say i watch movies and videos like and i i look for things you know what i mean so like so many times I find myself like really focusing on the overall music video and I'm not listening to the words. So we gotta stay, we gotta stay locked in. All right, stay locked in. Go back watching myself a steam go up in flames acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks when I know truthfully that that's the furthest thing from how I feel, but I'm too proud to open up in. Is that the same house? I was happy, yeah. Been this way so long, it feels like something's off when I'm not depressed. I got some issues that I won't address. I got some baggage I ain't open yet. I got some demons I should put to rest. I got some traumas that I can't forget. I got some phone calls I've been avoiding. Some family members I don't really connect with. Some things I said I wish I would have not let slip. Some hurtful words that never should have left my lips. Some bridges burned. I'm not ready to rebuild yet. Some insecurities I haven't dealt with yet. I'll be the first to admit that I'm a lonely soul. In the last to admit I need a hand to hold Losing hope, headed down a dangerous road Strange I know, but I feel most at home When I'm living in my agony Watching myself a steam go up in This is making me think about my childhood a little bit Not that it was like to the point where it was like abusive Or anything in that sense But just kind of growing up in like an environment That's not as healthy, honestly uh, when it comes to, you know, what you're going to eat the next meal, where you're going to be at, like, you know, who is the lights on and all that type of stuff. So, like, this is a very deep thing because obviously, like, what she went through as a child rolled right over to how she was when she was older. She started res res seeing, doing the exact same thing that she saw, either if, either that's her mother or her older sister or something like that. Either whatever, whoever, I think that's her mother. Um, watch what she was doing. And just sitting there and then end up growing up, kind of growing into the same thing. And the cycle continues. And if she had a kid, it would do the same exact thing. Um, man, this is deep. This is deep. In flames acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks when I know truthfully that that's the furthest thing from how I feel. But I'm too proud to open up and ask you to pick me up and pull me out this hole. I 
was happy mm. Don't know what's around the bend Don't know what my future is mm. But I can't keep on living in Living in my agony Watching my self-esteem Go up in flames Acting like I don't Care what anyone else thinks When I know truthfully That that's the furthest thing From how I feel But I'm too proud to open up and ask you To pick me up and pull me out this hole I'm trapped in The truth is I need help But I just can't imagine Who I'd be if I was happy I was happy. See, this is this is what I be this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Did she just eventually go see her mom, right? I'm assuming that's what she did. She went to go see her mom after all the years of fighting and all that type of stuff, not just with her mom, but in general. And I think to make up and to try to med some of the situations that happened when she was growing up, maybe. Because I was getting it. Or did she look back to all the times that they had good times too? See, this is where I don't feel smart. You get what I'm saying? To where sometimes like it, when you get in front of the, the camera and the mic and then you try to make sense of something that you watch with and it's like, Ugh. if I'm close, y'all just put it down in the comments because I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there. All right. Put it down in the conversation. Y'all point of view of the video or if y'all caught something completely different and I'm way off, just put it down in the conversation. We'll get to it as soon as possible. I'll make sure I read all of them and get through them. All right. Love y'all. Roll the 30K. Let's go.